Hello and welcome to Bonix Investment Group. Today we are going to talk about a simple strategy that forms the basis of most strategies. This will be about market structure, particularly break and free test. But before we jump into the war video, be sure to check out our free signals telegram channel. The link is right in the description below. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell icon. So first things first. Before we go deeper with this subject, we have to make these things clear. The following concepts are what will form the basis of the strategy that we will discuss today. To fully comprehend the strategy, you need to understand these following concepts. So here are the basics of market structure. This subject has been exhausted over and over, but in some instances it is left out uh, with a bit of complexity. That is what I want to remove from this subject. So basically, in the market, we have points of um, indecision, which we also call indecision zones. These are basically supply and demand zones within the market. So in a downtrend, we can actually spot a downtrend by looking at lower highs. This is a lower high, another lower high, lower high, and lower, lower lows lower lows this is basically the maximum definition of a downtrend and in an uptrend we will have higher higher lows higher lows and higher highs high highs so basics of market structure is whenever an indecision point is broken we tend to anticipate retest of that indecision to continue with that trend so to fully understand market structure, you just need to take this principle that whenever you break an indecision point, we anticipate the retest and continuation of that trend. So the most important thing to note in market structure is to how to determine the trend. There are two simple ways to determine trend and these are spotting lower highs and lower lows for a downtrend and spotting higher highs and higher lows for an uptrend. So here is the strategy definition. This strategy seeks to find entries on pullbacks and indecision points. The first thing to be observed must be a phase of contract accumulation or ranging of the market that will create indecision levels, probably on the upside or on the downside. Our main goal is to see these indecision levels being broken in or pierced through. Retest of the pierced indecision points will be our point of interest. So basically what we are trying to mean is, the first thing is to see ranging or to see pullback of the market and then to see a break of the indecision points created or the supply and demand zones created, then retest of those indecision points, that is where we are referring to as our point of interest. So here is where we we'll seek to look for entries as well as this point. So as you can see that the market uh, was ranging, this signifies contract accumulation. And this ranging actually created points of supply and points of demands or indecision points. And breaking of those zones will only give us a point of interest after the market has retraced to those zones. So at the indecision point, we need to find a candlestick reversal pattern that signifies rejection of that zone. After this condition has been met, we can make our entry without fear. Below are the candlestick patterns, examples we have to look for at these indecision points. So the first one, this is the hammer, uh, the bullish and golfing pattern, the morning star, the evening star, the shooting star, if you look for these candlestick reversal patterns, any of them at the, uh, at the indecision point, it will be actual, actually a perfect signal for you to make an entry. So here are the examples. Um, 
within a real market. As you can see, we had uh, our peak. From the peak, we had a flow. This also offered us a point of entry. As you can see, I, I didn't mark it, but it was actually a point of entry. Why? Because we had a, 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 a phase of consolidation of or contract accumulation. Then we broke the indecision point that was formed at this point. Then we came back to retest it here. After retesting it, we had a nice flow. But within the, after that flow ended, we had another contract accumulation phase. After that contract accumulation phase, we had a break of the indecision. Sorry, indecision point here. After having a break of indecision point, our point of interest was when price came back to the to the indecision point, which is which where we were offered a railroad track pattern here at the indecision point and we were supposed to make a, a, an entry after this green candle and this is the anticipated move basically that as simple as that looking for uh, contracts accumulation phases break of indecision points and retest of those indecision points that is the whole thing within this strategy then um another example on usd against swiss franc we had a point a, 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 a very big accumulation uh, phase within this accumulation phase we had traders that were being trapped within uh, this region then um, break of indecision point was done here and after that we had a flow after that flow we had a pullback this was the first pullback or this one so you were going to enter on either of this one or that one and this was the anticipated move this is pound against new zealand dollar we had a beautiful uh, accumulation phase or contracts accumulation phase and after that beautiful contracts accumulation phase we have we had a break of indecision level here and a retest of the indecision level then this was the anticipated move so basically that is what you'll be looking for whenever you are trying to use uh, this, sim this simple market structure strategy um, your stop loss should be below the structure that is um, it should be below the indecision point or the indecision level and uh, your take profit should be at least twice the number of pips that you've put on the stop loss so basically that is what you'll be looking for whenever you are trading this uh, strategy so without discipline in this strategy you will never be consistent and this is why most traders are failing to be profitable in this business they need uh, profits very fast they rush the process and without consistency you will never achieve the goal so you have to stick to your rules that you have given yourself and never ever give yourself pressure trading is not an overnight um, get rich quick scheme you will never achieve that trading needs time and it needs practice over time and in conclusion follow your plan without deviation or hesitation to act and on that note thank you for watching like and subscribe and check out our free signals telegram group this is the link in red